Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. This story is wild, so I don't know if there's anything more disingenuous, a bigger liar than Adam Schiff, but Fox News might be right there. So after tossing Mike Lindell's advertising dollars off the platform and saying, we won't let Mike Lindell advertise on Fox News anymore, they pick up a new advertiser. None other than Adam Schiff, the very individual who had boycotted Fox News, said everybody needed to boycott Fox News, would not spend any money with these people. But in a surprising turn of events, Adam Schiff has gone full tilt on Fox News. Check this out. First statewide TV ad of the California Senate race to feature Steve Garvey is out, but it's not done by Steve Garvey's campaign. They don't have enough money to do that. Instead, it is by Congressman Adam Schiff. Two leading candidates for Senate, two very different visions for California. Steve Garvey, the leading Republican, is too conservative for California. He voted for Trump twice and supported Republicans for years, including far-right conservatives. Schiff's ad, likely designed to bolster Garvey with Republican voters. Most political experts believe Schiff would have a much easier time defeating the former baseball player in November than he would defeating fellow Democrat Katie Porter. It's a similar tactic Gavin Newsom used in his race against John Cox and Rob Bonta used to lift up Eric Early in the California Attorney General's race. Joining us now is the Congresswoman from Irvine, Senate candidate Katie Porter. Congresswoman, I know you're fired up about this. What's your reaction? Well, this election is about Californians choosing their next senator. And I think that instead of playing cynical political games and trying to um, take that choice away, we should be focusing on communicating directly with voters about what we're going to get done for California. So the left wing rag Politico wrote a piece on this and they said Schiff has spent millions to promote Republican Steve Garvey and box out fellow Democrat Katie Porter. A pro Schiff super PAC is also running ads on Fox News intended to boost Garvey. But the Schiff ads run counter to his boycott plea just last year as part of a sweeping indictment of the network's brass and hosts as shameful. <laughs> Schiff at the time said his boycott applied to Fox News and all other stations that deliberately put out lies and deliberately undermine our elections. This from the state that's promoting mail-in ballots on demand without even demanding them, excuse me, and from the very guy who promoted Russia collusion. Endlessly, still, to this day, he promotes the Russia collusion, PP tape hoax, all of it when it's all been proven to be a load of crap. Schiff's decision to steer his donations to Fox is an acknowledgement that the potential Garvey voters he's hoping turn out in the primary are squarely in the network's target demographics. Now, you have to think about this because all these Democrat voters, right, who donate to Schiff's campaign are now seeing their money being spent on Fox News, which they view as the vast right-wing conspiracy theory, even though it's not because they're willing to kick Mike Lindell and my pillow off, but willing to take Schiff's advertising dollars and they would have Schiff on for interviews. So uh, please stop. A Schiff campaign spokesperson did not directly address the boycott, but defended the decision to spend money on Fox. It is important for California voters, no matter what TV channel they tune into, to know what's at stake this election, Marissa Samoya told Politico. We'll continue to bring our message to voters across the Golden State. Schiff's TV spin comes amid a long-running debate among Democrats about how to handle the right-leaning news and opinion behemoth. Many leading Democrats in recent years have refused to appear on Fox's airwaves, arguing that the, more part, the mere participation helps feed its biased narratives and indirectly contributes to its bottom line. This is funny, because think about what they've just admitted to. It feeds their biased narratives. You mean that Democrats stating what they believe would actually feed the narrative that Democrats are stupid. <laughs> I, it's like what they admit to without even realizing they admit to it is pretty wild. But Fox is a ratings juggernaut, giving the opposition party a large platform to push back against the network's content. This is so funny to me. And what's really wild 
is this last paragraph. And it says, and Schiff isn't the only one who has turned to Fox. Porter, who we just heard from saying, you've got to leave this up to Californians and leave it only between Democrats, basically. She has been critical of Fox, but not directly called for an advertising boycott, has started running ads of her own that promote a lesser known Republican, Eric Early, and to criticize Garvey as less conservative. So they're both in on it. You think Adam Schiff is scared to run against you? Well, I will tell you that Mr. Schiff has talked a lot, and he says, you know, self-described defender of democracy. Um, we have a lot of races on the line in California, um, and he's spending millions of dollars here to lift up a Republican. Katie's right on this point, because Adam Schiff, the defender of democracy, is only concerned about his own interests. Now, you know, the fact of the matter is this is how politics is played. But Adam Schiff tries to present himself as somebody who doesn't play politics. This is actually not that different from Nikki Haley. So you have all these people spending, I think they've spent to the tune of trying to defeat Trump in the primaries between Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis, and the others. Over $400 million, might be north of $500 million now. That's all money that could have been used to defeat Democrats in the general election if they actually cared about conservatives winning. And if Adam Schiff actually concerned, was concerned about Democrats just winning in California, he would be utilizing that money to prop up other Democrats. Schiff's team uh, released the following statement to us when we asked for their response. It says, quote, no one in this race has fought harder than Adam when it comes to protecting our democracy, our economy and our planet. Steve Garvey will be a rubber stamp for Donald Trump's extreme agenda. If elected, California voters deserve to know the differences between the two top polling candidates, although all the recent polls uh, seem to show you and Garvey tied. Oh, my gosh. You mean Steve Garvey would provide a rubber stamp? to Donald Trump's extreme policies? And just what are those extreme policies? Closing the border? Oh my gosh, well, it appears that the majority of America is in favor of that. A weaponization of the Justice Department and other government agencies against America? Donald Trump is opposed to that. And it seems like the majority of America is opposed to that. The radical inflationary trend due to the policies of the Biden administration? Uh, It appears that America is opposed to that. You know, the bad economy, it appears America is opposed to that. See, there's nothing radical, actually, about Donald Trump's policies. The only thing radical about Donald Trump is the fact that he calls out the left. He calls out the establishment Republicans. He calls out Washington, D.C. as the swamp. And that's what these people are freaking out about. Um, And I think you see in Mr. Schiff's statement, disappointingly, um, an effort to say that there are only two top polling candidates. Um, You yourself, Alex, know that the polls have shown a very close race here. It's a very competitive primary. Barbara Lee, me, Garvey, and Mr. Schiff. There are four of us who are running really strong campaigns, and it's up to voters to choose who they want to represent them. Yeah, and just to be clear, I mean, all the recent polls, including the one out today, show you and Garvey in a back and forth, basically statistical dead heat. So to say it's just a top two is just factually inaccurate. Okay, this is hilarious. Now, who does this remind you of? Stop the video right now. Type in down below. Who does this remind you of? Whose campaign? That's right, Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley was running around saying that obviously it's just down to two candidates after Ron DeSantis beat her in Iowa. I mean, at least Adam Schiff is ahead. But of course, Adam Schiff is again lying, saying that, oh, it's just down, you know, there's only two candidates. He's like Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley's like Adam Schiff. These people are interchangeable. These rhino, neocon, liberal hacks, people. Don't kid yourself. The swamp is real in D.C. And Mike Lindell is fighting it. So go check out MyPillow.com. Use promo code Lumberjack for big savings. Get yourself some of the good stuff. Remember, Fox News boycotted him, but we didn't. Peace out.